Hello Garden School Foundation families. This is garden educator Avril Wickland with a video coming from Wilshire Crest Elementary showing what our garden looked like when we were in quarantine and what we've done since. Enjoy. The garden hadn't had any visitors in more than a month, so it was looking really overgrown. Can you see all of these weeds behind me? Some of them are really tall, even taller than me. I think that we need to take a closer look and we're gonna have to do a bunch of work. Let's head inside. The grapevines are going out of control. They've completely taken over. We definitely need to prune this. What about these? I see a lot of beautiful flowers, but it's still growing way too much. So I'm going to clear out as many of the weeds as I can. I'll load them onto my big blue tarp and bring them over to the compost pile. Do you think I'm going to have a big pile today? Let's take a look. To me, that is pretty big. That is a lot of weeds that got removed from the garden. It's looking pretty nice and clean. Now let's take a walk. Let's look for flowers. Missero's class probably recognizes this. This is the pumpkin that you planted. It's doing really well. This is a fruit. Blueberries, look at them. What colors are we going to see on our garden walk? I'll tell you, I saw every color in the rainbow. But this flower here is one of my favorites. It comes from a tree that makes fruit, a really big fruit that's red on the outside and it's full of seeds, but it's still really, really delicious. I'll share that with you in the fall or winter when it's ripe. Sometimes weeds are pretty too. Oh man, this flower makes the soil stronger. Another fruit. This one smells delicious, but it's not a food. Let's walk into the garden and see what oh my goodness some of these plants are so tall but they're really pretty i feel like i'm victor the bee buzzing around the garden It's really pretty, but it's still, it's a lot of plants. It's kind of overgrown. Let's see what else we have in the garden and around the school. Let's check out that purple tree. It's so tall and pretty. The flowers are cool too. Let's take a closer look. Do you think that these flowers might have a nice smell? Oh, everybody's favorite. What's that plant? If you said sorrel, you got it. We have plenty. Don't worry. I weeded all around the sorrel. Let's see what other flowers we have in our garden. Some of these are things we could call weeds. Others are really just flowers that are planted to look pretty, but I've even seen some flowers that come from foods we eat, like this one here, nasturtium, or this, our artichoke. Artichoke is one of my favorite vegetables, and it grows these crazy beautiful flowers. But I have a super surprise I think you're really going to like. Artichokes 
sometimes are something bugs can live on. Let's take a closer look. something going on in here. I'm gonna get my camera to focus. What is on our artichoke? Is that a garden friend? Is that something that's protecting the garden? You haven't seen them yet. There's a lot of ants on this artichoke. They are moving up and down. They're all the way at the top. Let's see how far down they go. Whoa, they've, they're almost all the way at the bottom. I wonder if they go all the way to the ground. It looks like it. The ants are going all the way from the ground to the very tippy top of the artichoke. Wow, these ants are very happy in our garden. And if I want to eat this artichoke, I would need to make sure I definitely wash it very well. But let's see what else might be alive in the garden that's not a plant. What other animals might we find in our garden? That's right, boys and girls. Let's take a look in the dirt. That is where we are going to find a lot of the animals that live in the garden that are helping the garden a lot. I can already see some. It might be tough to see on the screen, but there is movement. And I'm going to make the camera focus and take a closer look. What is that? I think most of you know what we call that. A roly-poly. We could also call it a sow bug or a pill bug. Now that we've had a long day working in the garden and seeing our garden friends, I'm gonna have a big drink of cold water to finish off my work day. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all back in the garden. Have a great summer. The garden misses you. And a special congratulations to the fifth grade. You did great and you really helped the garden.